Hey, Grace Posse. Welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to talk about having a catch. Our focal passage today is going to come from 2 Kings 2, verse 21, which says, Then he went to the spring of water and threw salt in it. And he said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From now on, no death, neither death nor miscarriage, shall come from it. If God can heal a spring of water with a bit of salt, then God can heal your heart with anything, even with a few minutes from a film. In the movie, The Field of Dreams, Ray Kinsella recounts how his father never made it as a ball player. So he tried to get his son to make it for him. But Ray refused to pursue his father's dream and even refused to have a catch with his father. Ray left his home at 17 and never returned until his father's funeral. At the end of the film, Ray's father, John, appeared on the field of dreams that Ray had built on his Iowa cornfield. Ray introduced his dad to his wife and his daughter. And as John begins to walk away, Ray says, hey, Dad, you want to have a catch? John turns around and answers, I'd like that. And they toss the ball back and forth as the film ends. In 1989, film has never ended for Dwyer Brown, who played John. For people who have a difficult relationship with their dad, he says, that scene got tattooed on the back of my retina. Everywhere he goes, strangers approach him to talk to him about their dads. Some people come up and literally cry on his shoulder. An attorney once confessed to Brown that tears were pouring down his cheeks during the pivotal scene. The man realized that he had made himself miserable trying to please his father and the film prompted major changes in his life. If you have trouble connecting with your father, Brown suggests that you have a catch with him. You have this wonderful back and forth. Playing catch is just enough of a distraction, especially for men. They might start talking about things that wouldn't, they wouldn't normally talk about. When you're playing catch, the words just kind of come out of your mouth. Have a catch and let the healing begin. So let's look at this passage in context in 2 Kings 2 verses 19 through 22. Now the men of the city said to Elijah, Behold, the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord sees, but the water is bad and the land is unfruitful. He said, Bring me a bowl and put salt in it. But, so they brought it to him, and then he went down to the spring of water and threw the salt in it and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed this water, and from now on neither death or miscarriage shall come from it. So the water has been healed to this day, according to the word that Elijah spoke. So let's look at a couple of related passages. One in Matthew 5, 13, which says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its taste, how shall it saltiness be restored? It has no longer any good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under feet by men. Another related passage comes from Colossians chapter 4, verses 26, or 2 through 6. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, that God may open a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ on the account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear which is how we ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech Always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. When you were growing up, what challenges did you face in connecting with your father? 
Did the relationship get better or worse as you got older, and why? If your father is still alive, what can you do to improve the rela your relationship with him? If you have sons, how can you develop a strong relationship with them? What other family relationships do you have that could be improved? And what are you prepared to do to improve these relationships? So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, just as you heal the poisonous water with salt, you can heal anything, even the deep hurts of our past, with anything. We ask for your healing. We thank you for your healing. In whatever way you choose to deliver it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.